Okay, I think it's working. I'm pretty sure it's working. Cool. Awesome. I am getting better and better at uh, making this work, which is really cool. I might have too many microphones going here. Just gonna mute this one so I don't have so much echo. There we go, cool. And uh, what are we doing today? We are, we're gonna use an accordion that I bought at a thrift store uh, probably a year, maybe a little over a year ago to make a backing track. Um, I have not played this accordion since like day one and two that I bought it. I thought I was gonna learn how to use it, but I never really did. Um, but today's the day, it's just been sitting in the corner. I was using it for my daughter, uh, making all kinds of ruckus and she was losing her mind. She's upstairs trying to sleep right now. Um, and she's probably going to hear this and it's probably going to wake her up for sure. Um, but yeah, we're going to do our best to make a backing track using this accordion. And I think, I think it'll work out. Um, I think it's going to work. I think we're going to make it go. I really hope anyways. Do, 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 do. Okay, sweet. Um, I picked up some new tricks on Reaper recently on how to um, use the keyboard and uh, make a sample out of something. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Also, let's file save my Reaper project really quick. Um, save project as... Uh, normally I use a template, but I'm not gonna use a template. I got a microphone over here that we're gonna... Um, Pick up the squeezy box with, and uh, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be real fun. New folder, let's call this accordion stream, and uh, let's open that up and call the file accordion stream. Uh, I just learned how to spell accordion. It is A-C-C-O-R-D-I-O-N. Not how I thought you spelled it, that's for sure. <laughs> I kept spelling it and getting the little red script, uh, squiggly line underneath it saying I was wrong. And I thought, and then I would hit it and then press the button that said accordion. And I would go, how is that any different than how I spelled it? But I thought it was A-N and it's O-N. Anyways, um... This is Wisconsin, so of course we have accordions at thrift stores. Um, if you know anything about accordions, they're pretty popular in the polka scene. And um, yeah. All right, let me just set up a few more things and then we'll get going. The idea here is I already got a chord progression picked out. I'm gonna use a start on the four chord F, go to the tonic C, go to an A minor, uh, which is the six, and then go up to a, um, back up to the tonic C. And that's it, we're just gonna use that. I heard it in a gorilla song, and in fact, I have a short coming out about it uh, in a day or two. Um, yeah, real easy chord progression. I don't know how to play the instrument. Um, I, I'm gonna have to find where the C is, first of all. I might even pull up a little chart. So give me a second while I bring up a, an accordion chart. Bringing up an accord. Bringing up an accordion chart. You know what I wish is that I could click on Reaper or click off of Reaper and have the sound continue to come through it. I don't understand why that doesn't exist, but that's that's okay. It happens. Hey, thanks. Somebody started viewing. Uh, you probably turned it off. That's okay. I'll get to playing the accordion soon. Don't worry.
I just found something on Google. It's a picture that shows me the chords on the accordion. That's going to help me tremendously. Let's pick a tempo. Um, that, 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 do, 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 do. Right in the 90s again. I'm always in the 90s. Let's bump it up to 102. It's at 91. We'll put it at 102 here. 102. Enter. Okay, let's play this song at 102. Sorry, at itchy forearm. Ashy, as they say. As some folks say. All right, let's bring up this chord chart. I know that the, the buttons on the accordion are kind of in force, so it's like C, F, and as you go down or south, I guess, it moves a fourth down, I think. That's how I was hearing it today when I was messing around with it, trying to figure it out. Um, I really hope, I really hope I can get this. It shouldn't be hard. The A minor is probably going to be the hardest part, honestly. Give me, they want $90 for this accordion chord chart? Get real, what is that? I don't understand what that was. Like, I'm not going to pay for... There's an accordioncords.com. Perfect. Perfect. This is what I'm looking for. Oh my god, it's actually really not what I'm looking for. Why did they give me such a complicated chord chart? I know the top note is the bass note too, so it's not like you're always playing the top note. This is a pretty advanced accordion I'm about to play. Um, and if anybody's watching, you're probably thinking, dude, stop talking about the accordion, just play the fucking accordion. But I'll get there. I'll get there, I promise. All right, where's that accordion? I'm just gonna use this one, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Problem is, I don't know what kind of accordion I have. So I think I might just have to do this by ear, actually. So uh, whatever, I'm just gonna pull it up. Let's do it. I don't know if you know, but accordions are heavy as hell. Move my... I swear I'm going to get in your wireless ones. I swear. One day. Ah, wow. Whoa. And this thing is loud. So loud, too. It's kind of old. Um... And uh, I know you're not supposed to open or squeeze it when it doesn't, when you don't have a key pressed in. I believe one of these buttons up here allow you to um, release the air, like it's an air button. You press that when you want to push it in, like at the end of a song or something. But I don't know. I don't know if that works. So, um, yeah, everything is a learning experience on this thing for me. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for a C. All we want is C, F, A minor, and C. And if I understand it right, it's in fourths. So the C should be uh, essentially right next to the F. So I just gotta find C. Gotta find C, then the A minor is gonna be real hard. I feel like there's like, and you can't, the thing about this instrument is like, sounds really easy because the chords are right here. Like, the full chord. You just press a button, you get the chord. But you can't see it. <laughs> Why would you invent an instrument that you can't see what you're doing? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Okay, I want to hear. I have no idea. How do you record an accordion? Like, I've never watched a video on how to record an accordion before. Um, I got a mic here. I think it's going to do the trick. It's fine. For all intents and purposes. It's so loud. I think it goes on your left like this, and then you 
you like but what um, I can definitely make a C down here and what we're gonna end up doing is recording like one note at a time and then cutting it as we go so I might as well just get the click going get the click going I think what I'll do is I'll get a drum beat in here and that'll help me kind of play so let's insert a new virtual instrument a new track and uh, the let's use um, I have this uh, I have a like a drum I think that's this thing I don't know if this is it actually but yeah it's a little drum machine a little bit of drum machine. Um, let's not use this. I don't know how to use this. Stop. <laughs> Terrible idea. <laughs> In fact, let's delete this track already. Remove track. Okay. Stop. All right. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's just get Easy Drummer out. The thing I know how to use. The thing I know how to use. And uh, go from there. If you're new here, um, you may notice I'm just kind of goofing off. It's Sunday. What we're doing is we're making a backing track. We'll release the track as something you can play along to or sing to or cut apart and do whatever you want with. Doesn't matter. Um, do whatever you want. It's all good. Um, but you're just here to watch me mess around with this accordion. Um, okay, so... I have nothing in mind for like a melody or any kind of thing. I'm going to just try to use this and see what happens, honestly. Like, I have no clue what I'm doing. Yes, insert new track, easy drummer, one track, that's all I need. We're just using it for a basis here. Very good, and then we just want a really easy rock beat, right? Something like... Perfect, that's going to crush it. Let's do that. Yes. Let's fill up some space so we can improvise and find that C chord. No way I'm making a 22 minute long track. So back to the beginning. Yeah, I'm not making a 22 minute long track. No way, bro. Okay, let's find the C. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's a C. Hey, let's find out if a uh, snark tuner will work on this thing. <laughs> I really doubt it. I don't think it will. I don't, there's no way to attach it. Next one's gonna be C. Here we go. Hell yeah, I found it. So where's the A minor? Here's F. Sorry, let's put the snark. Look at I can't see anything. my C, right? Yep, I think that's my C. Let me just double check. You gotta put it up here. Nice. It's like perfectly in tune. I wonder if you have to get these things tuned every once in a while. Who knows? 
All right, let's try something here. We know where C, we know where F is. We'll, uh, we'll cut and paste, we'll make A minor happen. C, A minor. We're just going to guess where A minor is. That sounded okay. Let's uh, let's just hear how that sounded. Let's check it out. Let's try again. All right, here we go. F to C. actually kind of like that. That was pretty sweet. I don't know what that chord in between was, but maybe we can cut it apart. Very cool. Let's double that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's um let's fix this real quick. Let's take that trim off and do this. And then I think Alt will stretch it. Let's put the trim thing back on. Let's stretch it out, stretch it out now. Here we go. Yes, okay, here we go. Okay, cool. I think we got a verse. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Hopefully the, uh, the whoopsies, hopefully the live stream is still going here. Okay, then let's try, let's try to find the F. <laughs> Is 
that the C? I'm not sure. That's, that's the C. Okay, so that's C. Where is A minor on this thing? Let's get one of those. I think I got an A in there. My microphone popped for a second at one point. But that's okay, that's okay. We'll see. Pretty good, honestly, like with a mic and a preamp and, and stuff. I, I mean, it sounds like an accordion. It doesn't sound like a synth, which is kind of interesting. I would like to use this more, maybe throw it through some pedals or something. It's pretty cool. Okay, cool. So we got an A minor. We got we got F. That's this one. Control C. And control V, we're making a chorus right now is what we're trying to do. And uh, F, we need a C again. That was this guy here. Control C, control V, control V, A minor, control V, V. There we go, let's hear how that sounds. Okay, let's glue this. <laughs> it's so it's so crazy trying to work with this thing on my lap. Um, okay, let's glue this and we'll call it a chorus. Glue. There we go. You're a chorus. You are a verse. Control. Is it control G? No. Um, glue. Control shift G. My bad. That's okay. Let's make two of them. Control C, Control V. Okay, here we go. We got a verse, we got a chorus.
let's do uh, let's do this. Really hitting that mic really hard with that, um, with that C. Okay, so cool, 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 cool. Uh, control C. Let's get one more. C. Control V. Let's put one more C in here. Uh oh, edit undo, edit undo, edit undo. Drums are confusing. There we go. That's your C, and we'll put this here, and then we'll glue this together like it's a chorus, because it is. And there we go. Now I think we're onto something. We got two runs of a verse. We need an intro. Need an intro. Let's get an intro going here. Um, gotta find my C note. Was that even a C? I don't think it was a C actually. That sucks if that wasn't a C, but I, th I think it was. I wasn't looking and you can't see the darn thing, so how would you ever know? <laughs> how would you ever know what you're playing on this thing, you know? That's my intro. I'm just beeping annoying accordion. All right, from the tip top, let's move all these so that I have a little wiggle room in case I go to do something else. Here we go. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Bassoon. Okay, I think I got it. I think I know what I'm gonna do here. Record. Okay, that was pretty cool. I'm feeling, I feel like that's neat. Whoops. Whoops, whoops a daisy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Put this right here. Let's listen to it. Let's hear it.
Okay, no time to keep listening to this over and over again. That's our intro. That's what we're going to call our intro. We got a verse. We got a chorus. And then let's finish another. Let's put another one of those in with um, a little sparse interlude that we had for an intro. So we had a C. And... Uh, Yes. Okay, I know how to do it. I'm getting it. I'm actually learning. Here we go. Perfect. Wow, that got loud. That one was super loud. Take it down a notch here. I guess I could unfull screen this. Why don't we do that? Why don't we unfull screen what's going on here? Um, scene one. Now you can see everything. Now you see it. And now you do. Okay, cool. So now you can see the uh, the whole screen and me with my accordion and uh, here we go. Okay, so we're really doing it here. We're really getting it. Here is a verse and uh, we're gonna double paste, pasty 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 and then we got a chorus. Cool. And uh, yeah, we'll put the interlude in. One of these. Boop. And uh, let's do two of them. Boop. Four of them. Boop. Or let's do a chorus. Yeah. Two. Double chorus. Double chorus out. Perfect. Okay, now we got to add a bunch of filler stuff using only... bass. I want bass. I want bass. That's a cool, okay, let's do that for the, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. That's cool. Let's hear how that sounds. Let's turn that down a little bit.
Okay, now I just gotta learn how to do that in the chorus, because I don't know what that first chord in the chorus is. I want to know, but I have no clue. This might sound pretty cool when it's all done, honestly. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I might do that. Why not? It's my it's my song. I'll do it. Here we go. I didn't pick up anything. <laughs> I think I got the idea. Wow. How'd that sound? Glue that together. <laughs> Paste that here. Get one of these. There we go. There we go. All right. Hopefully this is still okay. Just checking on the um, on the live track here, and it looks like it's still going. So that's a positive, a positive. Okay, very good. And then we got another chorus. How are we gonna play the chorus? You know what? We're gonna get a guitar out.
Okay, excuse me while I tune really quick. I was planning to do it all with accordion, but uh, that's not going to be possible. I'm trying to get this done in an hour. minor. Okay, F, F minor. I can't believe I found the F minor before I found the A minor. That's crazy. Huh, somehow my chorus at the end here got messed up, which is okay. Let's hear how this sounds. Let's throw the... Oh, it's an F minor. Okay, I got it. I got it. I can do this. Let's lift this mic up a little bit. Whoopsies.
Here we go. Sorry about that. I was uh, had to do some editing. This happens every time I try to cut and paste. I end up not right. And I think it's because I don't label things properly. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you, bad boys? <laughs> All right, here we go. F minor, or F, F minor, C. And then F minor in the chorus.
Okay, I feel I feel like that was good. <laughs> oh, too funny. Wow. Wow. Here we go. I'm going to do some fun stuff now. Ah. Ah. That sounded good. That sounded good. I felt like that was right. There we go. Oh, oh there you go. Right there. We need a different drum set for this. Uh, a really dead, a very dead sounding drum. Cool. Okay, let's just add bass because why not?
And uh, thanks to everyone who's still watching. If you're still watching, I see that there's maybe one or two of you. That's awesome. Let's add some bass. Here we go, bass. You know, it'd be cool to swell in on the pedal board, which is what I think I'm gonna do on the bass for kicks. Like a cello. Um, uh, yeah. We can move this out of the way. Whoops, a daisy. Um, actually, we're gonna unplug it. And uh, cool. We're gonna put this cord back. And look at that. We're already cleaning up our mess. But then I'm hitting things because I have this cord. I need to get a wireless system some day. That's gonna happen for me. I know it. I know it. I know I'm gonna have a wireless one. Wow, I need to get a better mic stand for this situation here. Oh jeez. There we go. Nobody hurt. Nobody got hurt. No one was hurt today. All right, here we go. We got one last track left for the bass, and that goes into input eight, baby. There she is. Put some chorus. Nice, a lot of, a lot of echo. That sounds cool. Let's buzz her. I got this swollen pickle. I never use it. Turn the output down a little bit. Um, loudness, I think. That's cool. That's too cool. How do I, I just gotta make sure it's not too loud, right? Sweet. That's really cool. We'll turn this off. Um, let's hear the drums. Let's let's tune the uh I like it. I like it a lot. That sounds cool. All right, here we go. Here we go. I already messed up, but I can tell that sounds really neat. So um, let's try that again. F to F minor. I think that sounds cool. Um, definitely gonna need some kind of compressor on that, uh, but um, let's. I'm just gonna bring the drum track back so I can tap in the tap tempo on the tremolo.
Let's try again with a different shape on the tremolo. Almost got her. Almost got her, Otter. One more time. I think we got her now. Whoopsies. Yeah, let's try that one. Ooh. Stop. Okay, let's try it on a quarter note. Wow, this is probably pretty boring to watch, honestly, because it's trying a lot of things here. I just do it with the volume pedal.
really cool. I think that's it. I think that's done. I'm going to do some extracurricular work and make that sound better. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Happy Sunday. Subscribe if you watch the whole thing. Thank you. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll be back next week. Stay tuned for some more guitar lessons and um, other things. But, yeah, the lesson, the message of the day is just make music. Can you not play the instrument? Who cares? Try your best. See ya.